Hi guys and welcome back. In this video today I'm going to be talking a little bit about my character's backgrounds um, and how their concepts brought them to where they are now. So when I first started dreaming up Bram and Blight, um, they, it was back in December of 2016, I had just gotten um, my graphic, or not, not graphic tablet, I've just gotten my uh, Cintiq tablet and I started digital art in that month and I was able to explore more in the uh, side of digital art because I would always get discouraged with traditional with wasting paper and all that good stuff but um, I allowed myself to kind of explore more characters and ideas and so I came up with these two um, one was a monster lady and then the other one was a young boy and Bram was going to be a bit younger than he is in the actual comic um, he was going to be about nine or ten or so and um, I decided to age him up so people would find him more relatable in the comic um, but there was always this boy and this monster and um, back when I first started drawing Blight she looked kind of more human than she does now obviously she's a bit of a skeleton uh, and she's like six foot nine and my monster is always going to be tall and hideous but she had lips and you could see her eyes and everything like that she had muscles which she still does because reasons and yeah um but their concept was a little bit more of a modern day setting when I first started out um, it slowly just turned into this kind of middle-aged middle-earth kind of thing but um, when I started their concept it was Bram this boy was living with his distant relative or something and his parents death always confused and haunted him he wanted to know how they died and this monster had been following him since he was young ever since he could remember and no one else could see her but him and he just kind of accepted her existence he's like okay this is fine um, but eventually in this storyline he learned that the monster killed his parents but he didn't know why and once he learned that she was the reason for their deaths he lashed out against her and basically told her to get the heck away and this monster having been with this child her whole life and or not her whole life but his whole life and everything was completely distraught and desolate and yeah she was just very sad and I never got past that point of that concept um, and it's not going to happen like that in my comic obviously because it's definitely a completely different setting but that was the concept back in the 2016 early 2017 um, so that's what kind of got me going and then I just kind of started drawing them more often and Blight kind of turned into more of a walking dead person um, and not like Walking Dead as in the TV show or the comic book or whatever but just this walking corpse and but she was always protective of this young child and I always drew this child and this woman monster always together in various um, scenarios but I realized I really wanted to do something with them I didn't know what but I wanted them to be a constant thing that I was drawing and it was for a long time up until um, summer of 2018, this past year, I finally decided to do something with them. But yeah, that's how their concept kind of started. And in the design, when I was first drawing the light, like I said, she was more of a humanoid type of monster, but I kind of turned her into this walking skeleton lady for reasons. Um, it's kind of a play on the death and the maiden trope, but obviously the maiden is a boy and death is a woman and it's not necessarily in a normal sense of the way um, but I just kind of really love that concept and that idea so this is basically my take on that but with designing Blight I wanted her to be monstrous I want her to be ugly I didn't want her to be a I guess you could say a sexy monster because I've mentioned this before I'm sure but in Hollywood they always have the the monster ladies having big boobs and 
in a way they're always sexy somehow. They always have to have a sex appeal to the audience for the um, audience to accept them as a female monster. And I've always resented that and I just wanted to get away from that completely. And male monsters are always given this kind of, or male gendered monsters are always given this kind of spookier concept and always given this more monstrous quality that they're just you know terrible and ugly and spooky and I kind of wanted to enforce that on a female monster and that's kind of why she's just this skeleton and spooky and you know she's not supposed to be pretty she's not supposed to be attractive or in any sense of the way she's not supposed to be pretty so I just wanted to get that down packed and presented when you first meet her Obviously, she's not the most kissable monster, although you could still kiss her if you wanted to. It's okay. Um, but yeah, she she's just supposed to be this skeleton lady, and there's nothing more to it. She's not secretly pretty. She's not, you know, oh yeah, she's beautiful underneath. It's no. She's just ugly, and that's okay, because sometimes we just ugly. But anyway... Not a lot went into Bram's design back when I first started him. He's changed a lot though. Um, at first he was just this pale boy with red hair and a really bad haircut. And essentially he still kind of is, but his hair has changed a lot. Um, it used to have like a shorter in the back and like long bangs and long sideburn bang things. Um, and his eyes were a little different. They kind of had this black hole and like a white center but I've changed a lot since then and anyway um, that's just kind of how they started out and what they're kind of doing right now but in the future of the comic as we learn more about them and see more sides to them I will talk a little bit about their personalities more because there's still a lot I can't reveal and I just want to talk about it all day every day and just I just want people to know and see and understand the motivations behind my characters and what they do, but I cannot jump the gun. I'll just let it play out and let people see if um, they can pick up certain cues or um, identify uh, certain tropes and stuff in the future. Um, but yeah, I've actually had some people, uh, some pals on Instagram, hey, you know who you are, um, ask, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, what's uh, what Blight is hiding behind her bandages or her uh, face veil and I'm not gonna say anything but you always can go back to episode one uh, and see a little bit of what she looks like if you want to you don't have to um, we will eventually see her without it so hashtag spoilers but there is a reason why she's hiding her eyes and it's not just because she's ugly, because we can already see from the bottom half of her face that she's ugly. Um, there's no denying that whatsoever. Um, but yeah, that's just a little tidbit of what you could do. Um, it's not going to spoil anything. Not really, unless you can pick up from my, uh, my little hints and stuff. But eventually it will be explained. Um, but yeah. But again, on, on the topic of the whole feminine monster thing, I still wanted Blight to be feminine, you know, you can be ugly and feminine and a monster, you know, um, I'm just trying to enforce this idea that you don't have to be either or, you can be all of it, you know, I still give her boobs because she is a female monster in the sense that I want her to look that way, um, it's not that I'm trying to make her look sexy or I'm trying to give her more of a um, appealing quality, it's just that she is a monster and she happens to be female and nothing more than that so just wanted to get that out of the way because I don't know I feel like that needs to be explained um, but yeah I'm basically done with this video um, but if you guys have any ideas or comments or anything if you want to see a certain representation in my comic um, you can always leave a comment down below but um, yeah I kind of struggle with the newer characters because I obviously didn't even talk about them in this video but the only other character we have right now is Anhaga who's the lovely lady on the left right now um, but I did not come up with her concept early on she's more of an additional character but I still love her to death um, but yeah 
just uh, follow me on my comic. You can follow me on Instagram, on Tumblr, and see my really choppy art and see my process and everything. But yeah, I'm going to head off here. Y'all have a great one. I'll see you on my comic. Maybe. Alright, bye!